You ever found yourself backing away from something that you can do, something maybe that you should do, something that people have said, wow, you're really good at that because some people felt like it was a little bold or abrasive or aggressive. They, other people felt like that's not average enough. I have. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast, and today I want to talk to you about standing out a little bit. Not standing out just to be standing out, but standing out to be outstanding. It's really hard to to just meld into the crowd when you are the purple cow, as Seth Godin puts it. You know, the the day that you could just run a TV ad and, and be different in business is, well, it's fading. There's a lot of noise in television and social media and radio, and anybody now can have a book because we have self-publishing. Anybody now can have a radio show because we have blogs and blog talk radio, and, and the list goes on and on. And Anybody now can have a TV show, whether it's a TV show on the big television that you have in your living room connected to your cable or your satellite or your antenna, or it's on the little television that you have in your hand 24-7 or your tablet or your laptop. Anybody can have their own show. Anybody. There's no barrier to entry. So the question then becomes, how do you stand out? What makes you different? What makes anybody want to pay any attention to you? What makes anybody care about what you do? Now, if you're a leader, that's a little bit of a different dilemma because as leaders, we're told you don't want to be so outrageous that no one else will follow you. You don't want to be so out of the box that no one else can can keep up with you or participate with you because when you're that far out of the box, no one's going to follow you because they're terrified. And the truth of the matter is, yeah, that's true. But what if someone average rather than Patton had been our general during the war against the Nazis? What if someone average had decided to go to the moon? Well, they probably wouldn't have. Am I right? So you've got to be a little bit above average or a little bit different or at least a little bit going the other way like a Steve Jobs to do what no one else will do because everybody else is already doing what everybody else will already do. A few years ago, I started these workshops for people who feel like the life story that they've experienced is worth telling every, everybody else about. And in those workshops, I really was just teaching the basics of communications. And I had, I had haters, I had mockers who said, well, you know, what you're doing is no different than Toastmasters. And I said, well, you're right, except in Toastmasters, you pay a small fee, you join a group, you get a whole lot of practice speaking. And so if you're terrified to speak in public, Toastmasters is a phenomenal place. And over a period of time, working toward your distinguished Toastmaster, you can get a whole lot of practice speaking and get regular critique, friendly, lovable, general, average critique from other people who are pretty good at speaking. Some of them are really good at speaking. Or you could spend the money to become a part of a National Speakers Association or something like that. Or you could pay to go to one of these four or $5,000 boot camps. I don't charge that much. And you can sit in an audience with 200 to 300 or 500 people and listen to the same advice and get no critique and no feedback and no coaching along the way. Because if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching in one of those classes, it's going to be about 25 grand. Or you can sit down with me and we can assess where you're at and see if I'm a good fit and then we'll walk through the classes. The classes are 500 bucks. I don't put more than 20 people in them because everybody gets a chance to get to the front of the room and tell their story and hear the same story told in a different way. Along that path, a gentleman who is a executive vice president of regional sales or national sales for the organization he worked in came up and he said, you know what? You should rename this class to I can tell your story better than you can and I can prove it. And I thought it was funny at the time, but then I realized there's a reason that the people who've gone through this class have a different perspective, and that is that 
we do things differently. It's not an average class. These people aren't telling average stories and I don't teach average coaching and storytelling. It's a little bit different. So recently I ordered these new business cards. You can see them, it looks like this. But I did the average thing. I went to Staples and I said, I need these business cards. It only looks like that on one side. And so I sent them my artwork and on the other side it looks like this. And on this side they did a great job. But on this side, it came back with a big white border around the edge. And I said, the art is identical on both sides. I mean, different words, but it's the same size and shape art. How come it's wrong on one side and right on the other? And they said, well, it has to be your art. And we went back and forth. And I said, how is it that it's the same file? It's the same art. It's just different colors. And of course, it was still my fault. So 40 bucks out the drain to, to get a one day business card. And I put it on Facebook and I put it on LinkedIn and I said, listen, I, all I ask is that you do your average work, at least average, at least up to par with average. And somebody stepped up and said, you know what, send us the artwork and we will redo the business card. So I wanna brag a little bit on brand keepers now. Lee Giles was the guy who sent me a message on LinkedIn and he said, um, Anybody can be average. Anybody can do those kind of business cards. It's not complicated stuff. There are millions of business card makers in the world. But I see what you're trying to do. And I agree with your frustration that being average is not that hard. Being subpar is even less hard. But somebody's got to make an effort to do it right. So I'm going to let these two stand out. I will take your challenge. I can tell your story better than you can and I will prove it to you. So if you wanna meet me over coffee, I'll give you a certain set of parameters to tell your story. They're real easy parameters, anybody can do it. You tell me your story, when you're done, I'll turn around and tell you the same story, and if you feel like the story that I've told you is more fascinating, more engaging, more likely to make you take action on it, then we'll talk about a coaching program. And if you don't, then I'll buy your coffee and we'll call it a day. The one condition is we'll live stream both your story and my story and let everyone else vote on which one is better. And if you need business cards or any other kind of signage or banners or flags or website development, call Lee at Brand Keepers because they will keep the promise of branding you the right way and not subpar. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. Have a blessed day.